Hello, I'm Itai Margolin, Product Manager at Informatica. Thank you for joining me for this brief overview and demonstration of XMAP, Informatica's new data transformation solution for mapping between two hierarchical data structures. In this demo, we will cover the key benefits and differentiators of using Informatica to manipulate your complex hierarchical data. We will also show you how we actually go about this transformation, and finally, what other facilities for parsing and stitching customer data we can provide. Hierarchical data is proliferating, becoming increasingly more diverse and commonly used. Whether it is the industry standards organizations making the transition from the traditional flat file formats into hierarchical XML, or new big data standards such as JSON, which encode data in hierarchical format. While most ETL tools traditionally support relational data very well, they come up short when attempting to handle complex hierarchical structures. In our example, we'll be taking information from an XML document which contains two lists, a list of teachers and a list of children, where each child has listed one or more hobbies. And we'll map the information into a different XML document which will contain a list of classes, each with a teacher and a list of children who would enroll in the class. Let's go ahead and perform a mapping exercise between these two hierarchical formats. In Informatica Developer Studio, I've created a new project within which I've already configured an XMAP object and the required schema object references. In the top half of the XMAP editor, we can see the input and output hierarchies, and at the bottom half, a grid with mapping statements. I'll talk more about the statement grid in a little while as I develop the mapping. For now, let's see how to define a mapping using the hierarchy trees at the top. I will start defining my mapping by simply dragging and dropping elements from input to output. This process enables me to quickly and visually create the overall structure of my mapping. To start my mapping, I will map from the teacher element in the input to the class element in the output. Notice how for each drag and drop operation, a new statement is inserted into the mapping grid. XMAP also performs various checks and validations and intelligently sets certain parameters automatically for each new statement. For example, in this mapping statement, we can see that XMAP created a repeating group because teacher is a recurring element in the input. Next I'll map the teacher name and email as well as a subject into the class name. Now I want to map the teacher's phone numbers. Here notice how the input has a recurring phone element with a type attribute, but in the output there are three distinct elements for each phone type. To handle this mapping challenge, I will first manually insert a repeating group statement and drag and drop the phone element into the input field to specify that this is the element I need to iterate on. Next I will insert a router and an option and I will define the condition for the first option as type equals mobile. I will also go back and rename these statements for clarity. The option will be mobile the repeating group loop phones and the router phone type. Whenever this option is selected in runtime, I want to map from phone to mobile phone. Now I want to define options to handle the work and home phone numbers. I can actually do this by simply copy pasting the mobile phone option two additional times into the router. Notice how XMAP indicates that the new options are invalid because their conditions are not unique. So I should fix the conditions in these two option statements by changing the expressions to test for the values work and home. I should also rename the statements. And of course, remember to update the output XPath. Now that I have completed mapping the teacher information, I will continue and map the children information. I will start by adding a repeating group statement, which will iterate over the child element. Next, I will map hobby into class. You may notice that by default, the repeating group will map each hobby into a new class element. But I would like to change that so that each hobby is mapped into a specific class for that hobby. 
To achieve this, I need to add an XPath predicate to the output expression. What you now see on the screen is XMAP's XPath Expression Editor, which allows us to easily create, edit, and test XPath expressions. The Expression Editor has three main parts. The XPath tab, which contains format and help for all XPath2 functions. syntax, axes, and operators. Input and output schema trees, which allow us to drag and drop or double-click elements into the expression, saving us from making any typing mistakes. And the expression editing area for writing out our XPath expression. Now for this output, what I'd like to do is add a predicate condition to test that the class name equals the child's hobby. I can also click on the validate button to ensure that the expression is syntactically valid. Finally, I need to change the output mode to match or add to instruct the engine to only create a new class element if one does not already exist for this hobby. Now I'll continue by mapping the child's person details into the child element. Notice how the two mapping statements are created as sibling statements. And this is due to the fact that person details and hobby are sibling elements in the input hierarchy. But we want to map the child details once in each iteration of the hobby to class repeating group. To resolve this, I can simply demote the person details to child group statement. And as I do this, pay attention to the input and output expressions and notice how the XMAP interface automatically adjusts the expressions to maintain the correct relative hierarchy. Now I will map the child ID. and email. Now the name in the input is three separate elements, but in the output we have only one element for the name. So I would like to concatenate these three elements from the input into a single element in the output. I will start by mapping any of the input name elements into the output. Next I will open the expression editor and add a concat function. And then I will build my expression by adding the required elements and separators. When editing an input expression, I can also take advantage of the fact that I have a sample input and actually test the expression against this input to see what output is produced. This seems correct, so I will go ahead and close the expression editor. I've completed building my mapping and I would now like to run it and see the output that is produced. In this view we can see the input on the left with the markings that indicate what data we are mapping from our input. And on the right hand side we can see the output that is produced and it looks good. We have a class for swimming with the teacher and then a list of children who enrolled in that class. And we also have a class for cycling with its teacher and its list of children. We can also see that some students, such as this one here, are enrolled in more than one class, in this case, both cycling and swimming. So, as you can see, the Informatica Data Transformation XMAP option is an easy to learn visual tool enabling fast development, testing, and maintenance of anything from simple to complex mapping projects. It empowers a range of users from the high level data analysts all the way to experienced developers to take on any mapping challenge easily and collaboratively. And whether you're new to XPath2 or a seasoned veteran with the built in XPath2 expression editor and testing utilities, you can be sure to quickly and successfully develop as complex XPath expressions and calculations as required to enhance your mapping. Informatica Data Transformation is a universal data transformation layer and the answer to all of your transformation needs. With it, you will be able to process billions of records per day, whether in batch or real time. Informatica Data Transformation allows you to integrate different data sources in any format, from unstructured documents such as Word, Excel, and PDF, through semi-structured formats including industry standards such as HL7, EDIX12, Edifact, and others, all the way to complex structured formats such as XML. 
Any transformation developed using the Informatica data transformation tools produces reusable data transformation assets which you can reuse anywhere in your organization. This concludes this solution overview. If you are interested in learning more about Informatica B2B data transformation XMAP option or other data transformation capabilities, you can find more information on the informatica.com website or join the discussion at the LinkedIn Informatica Useful Resource Group or drop your contact details at Informatica's Contact Me page. Thank you.